All right, so we're going to ride at nighttime, low visibility. Okay, always remember, ride within the conditions present. Okay, we got this uh, uh, truck going slower, so I'm concerned about this blue car. There it is. Roll off the throttle. He saw his hand. All right, we'll go over that, obviously. That car's impatient. Look at that. The car driver's impatient. He wanted to get around everybody. So this is where we're at. Okay, so decent lane positioning so we could see around. We're not going to talk too much about that. We're going to focus mainly on the patterning that we have here. But we have decent line of sight. We could see around. Um, this is perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let the car in front of us take off. You see how the space cushion uh, got bigger? So that's one thing I like to do is when we're at a red light or green light, whatever it is, when they take off, I let them get a half a second, a little bit more, and let them accelerate, let them have their little lead foot. And I'm going to just incre uh, increase my throttle just a little bit to allow them to get in front and increase that space cushion for me. So that's really cool. I like to uh, showcase that whenever I can. All right, so one of the biggest things here is that these big vehicles, they got a lot of weight. They have a lot of everything uh, in order for them to, uh, to get going. Okay. It's going to be very difficult for them. They're going to be really slow on takeoff. So any cars behind big vehicles like that already, I'm like, mm, if I was in that position, I'd be, I'd be wanting to switch lanes, right? Uh, not just for vision, but because I'm tired of being slow and watching all these people pass me. So I'm going to try to switch lanes when it's safe to do so. But I do my head checks. I check my blind spots. I indicate where I'm going to go because I'm a motorcycle rider, smart rider, but translate that to smart driving principles. So we're going to go ahead and move forward a little bit right here. And you notice how we're getting past or we're, we're get, catching up. So now these guys are lined up. We're going to get going. What do you think this driver is going to want to do? They're going to want to switch lanes. So that's what I want you guys to pay attention to. We'll look at this pattern. If our lane is moving forward and this other lane, or it could be on either side, is going slower, expect somebody to switch over into your lane. And they're not going to see you because of unintentional blindness, motion-induced blindness. Make sure you hit subscribe. We're trying to get 250000 by the end of the stream. Let's move over. So now right here, what's happening, Look, put yourself in their perspective, okay? There's a driver right here. They're looking, and they see, oh, this driver is passing, and they're going to make that judgment call. I know you do it out there when you're driving. As you're driving, you see somebody pass. You're like, okay, cool. Somebody passed. They're not in my spot anymore. I'm going to turn over without even looking. I hope you guys don't do that, but I have a feeling that's what happened here is that they were waiting for this driver to pass, and then that's going to be their indication of, oh, I get to pass without looking. We got a motorcyclist right here, guys. Not good. Not good. So as soon as I see that, I'm like, you know what? I understand that position. I understand I would hate to be stuck behind a truck, and I see that I'm the motorcycle rider in the back, and I know what you want to do. I'm going to roll up the throttle and give you that gap. That's what I do. So it's, there's no rush. So we got the indicator right there, and look with that right there. Indicator, adapting to the hazard. Indicator, adapting to the hazard. Position yourself for safety, for plan. Plan is to position yourself for safety. Locate the hazard, adapt to that hazard, navigate a threat if there is a threat. A threat is when somebody pulls out in front of you, you got to swerve, emergency brake, red stage maneuver, all those things. This one right here is just an adaptation right now. Rolled off the throttle, increase the gap, let this person through. Now they're being very impatient. They're uh, in front of us. They're behind this car. They want to go to the open, open lane. And there it is. So now we have a good space cushion. So this is why I say don't put yourself in a bad situation after somebody does something like this. We have good space cushion right here. We have multiple lanes that we can escape into. We can have good vision. We don't need to get up in this guy's face and break his mirror. Let's not do that, guys. Let's not do that. Good job. Good job. What you just saw was a clip from the live stream, which we do all the time on this channel every single week. So if you want to, click that subscribe button. I think it's right here. Maybe it's right here. I don't know. There's videos on the screen. Matt, what do I do? 